Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we're being joined by David John Schwab, author of Never Complete. David, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Paul. Well, we are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? Yes, sir. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? Uh, so let me uh, – well, I guess the one I write off the bat is I say just write it. Worry about fixing it later. So often we want our book to be exactly how we envision it, but it's not going to be perfect in the first draft at least. Write it, revise it later, get feedback from the right people after you finish your first draft and reread it yourself. So you'll notice the hardest part again is getting past the fear of it not being exactly what you want it to be the first time you're writing it. My, my book really morphed over typing it, rereading it, adding stuff, subtracting contact and uh, content. And you learn more about yourself and what you're actually trying to get across um, versus when the first idea you had of writing the book. So just let it flow when you first write it and don't be harsh on yourself. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? So for me, um, I self-published it and I, and, I, and I had others do all the dirty work for me. So for me as an entrepreneur, I always do what I'm passionate or what I would consider good or knowledgeable at, and I totally delegate the rest. So I delegated the editing. I delegating other people promoting it. I delegating other people doing the artwork and then uploading it. And then even even the, uh, not the voice recording, but uh, the audio book as well. I just, I just published it or wrote, wrote what I wanted to write, and then I delegated the rest. So it wasn't really too hard, to be frank with you. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that works well with your book? Well, 95% of the people who buy my book personally have heard me speak. So I did motivational speaking for college students. I spoke at entrepreneurship summits or leadership summits across the country. Most of them were young adults. And I, so I never wrote a book to sell a million of them online. I did it to share my story and to have for my audience who wanted more of me and what I've done to be successful after I'm, done, after I'm done speaking to them. So 95% of my books have been sold at actual events. And I feel like mo unless you have a really big name where you have millions of followers or just a crap load of followers, most people aren't going to buy a book of someone they don't know or they don't connect with, they never heard of or have a big trust factor behind. So mine was sold after I was speaking and I connected with an audience. And what strategies did you use specifically um, with that process? Were you selling the books in bulk to those organizers or were you just doing them in the back of the room like with a book sign in after your speaking events? Uh, both, actually. But most of it was done after. So basically, I had you know students or whoever was the faculty members, they would basically do all the selling for me because everyone would talk to me after I was done speaking. So basically, when I was done talking to what, how many people were in line waiting to talk to me, uh, then I would go and basically pick up the check for the books, you know, from, from whatever they did, or they, um, they sent the money electronically sometimes. So that, that's basically how I did it. So were these individual sales or were they actually, um, like a, um, compilation of sales and the school was actually taking those payments? I've, I've done it both ways. I really have, but I would say most of the time they sold the books after the event. So, um, I would say, uh, 75% of the time, it was individual sales after the event. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? That's a really hard question because I'm an avid reader and it all depends on what you want out of life right now. So for me, if you love marketing, I love Donald Miller's story branding book. That That is something that is, a, I love that book. I, I recommend it. For business, I love Six Months to Six Figures by Peter Booth, a, a friend of mine. Um, for guys looking for more personal, spiritual meaning in life, I highly suggest Wild at Heart by John Eldridge. But my all-time favorite book is Follow the Cloud by John Stickle. It's a, a Christian-based book that makes life makes so much more sense, even though we don't have it all figured out. Uh, that was a life-changing book for me that has allowed me to live life more freely and 
there's a big difference between being set free and actually living free. And uh, I, that's my all time favorite. Well, and you just mentioned one of my favorite authors and Donald Miller. I was going to ask you going just a little bit off topic. And that is, have you read his yeah. new book, Market and Made Simple? I have not. Well, it just came, it came out back in March, and I only discovered it yesterday. So I'm already going to grab a Kindle version of that and check it out. But I'm a huge fan of his story, Brandon, book, because it really it changed our business and took it to the next level. Yeah, I'll definitely have to, have to grab it. And then for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote is, this isn't as good as it gets. You know, whether things are going bad or amazing or everywhere in between, uh, I'm a huge believer that this isn't as good as it gets. And, it's you know, I don't believe life is about a destination. It's about a journey. And who I'm becoming is more important than what I'm doing. So um, that my favorite saying, again, is this isn't as good as it gets. Well, David, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? They can go to my website. It's pretty easy. It's uh wnyentrepreneur.com so w as in world n as in nancy y as in yo-yo entrepreneur.com so it just stands for western new york entrepreneur david thank you once again for being on the show and i wish you all the best in your office journey ahead hey thanks so much for having me on thanks again for joining us today to learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works grab a free copy of my book at get published podcast dot com.